Hatimaye rapper wa nchini Nigeria Black Bones amemjibu Calligraph kwa kuachia diss track yake pia ambayo imepewa jina Green Black Green ikiwa ni jibu la diss track ya Calligraph dhidi yake ambayo yenyewe ilikuwa inaitwa Best Rapper in Nigeria. Kama ambavyo nilitafsiri ile ya Calligraph, watu wengi sana wameniomba pia niweze kutafsiri walau kidogo kile ambacho Black Bones ameki rap amekijibu katika diss track yake. Unaona eh? Kwanza nianze kusema kwamba kiukweli Uh, Black Bones anaandika uh, he is a good writer anajua kuandika sana kikweli but mbaya tu ni kwamba ni ngumu sana kuelewa mashairi yake kwa namna ya matamshi yake alivyo tofauti na calligraph calligraph uwezo alionao matamshi yake ni rahisi sana kuelewa alichokisema diction yake katika kuzungumza iko very clear tofauti na black bones yeye ukijumlisha pia na ile lafudhi za kwao kule Nigeria english yake inakuwa ngumu sana kuielewa anapokuwa anaitamka unaona eh kwa hiyo kuna hiyo tofauti lakini tofauti ya pili ni kwamba calligraph alienda hard zaidi calligraph alitumia nguvu zaidi alikuwa very aggressive katika namna anavyo deliver mashairi yake delivery ya calligraph iko very aggressive iko flows tofauti na ya black bones anavyokuwa na rap hana hasira kiivyo kama ambavyo una feel anachokifanya uh, calligraph kwa hiyo kwa upande huo uh, kali ameshinda kwa mbali sana kwa maana ya jinsi ambavyo ana sound hasira alionao katika mashairi yake hasira alionayo katika namna anavyomshambulia adui yake ni kubwa zaidi ukilinganisha na Black Bones anavyo wasilisha mashairi yake yako laini lakini ukielewa anachokizungumza Black Bones utaelewa kwamba ni mwandishi mzuri sana tofauti nyingine pia ni kwamba katika mashairi ya Black Bones amemshambulia adui yake hasimu wake ambaye ni calligraph lakini kuna sehemu nyingi sana ambapo anahama na kujisifia yeye zaidi unaona tofauti na kali kali yeye mara nyingi sana alikuwa anahama kidogo kujisifia kidogo lakini bado hamuondoi adui yake katika mistari yani asilimia kubwa ya mashairi ya kali yanamlenga kumkosoa adui yake tofauti na black bones yeye anajisifia sana kuna wakati na baadaye ndo anarudi tena kumshambulia calligraph so nitakusomea mashairi yake na kwanza kueleza pale itakapowezekana naanza kwa intro nasema you don't ever fuck with a nigerian boy you know me hutaki kushindana kabisa na uh, kijana wa nigeria i hold that shit i had zero balls kwamba nimesikia hiyo na unasema kwamba sina balls ameanza kusema kwamba i've been cooling out try to pour ice in my core because i'm not human I'm a war machine designed to end wars. Hapa anajisifia zaidi kwamba yeye ni sio binadamu bali ni mashine ya vita ambayo imetengenezwa kwa ajili ya kumaliza vita. Calligraph Jones, you should be flexing nigga, you won the award. Now what's this cloud chasing grandpa fighting me for? Kwamba Calligraph inabidi ujisifie, uh, ufurahi kwa kushinda tuzo. Sasa huyu jamaa anaitafuta sifa, anaitafuta uh, kiki. Babu anaitafuta kiki, anani anapigana na mimi kwa ajili gani search it on wikipedia try to look up your age they didn't see no wikipedia which in itself is a disgrace anasema kwamba nilikutafuta katika mtandao wa wikipedia nijaribu kuangalia umri wako sijaona wikipedia hiyo pekee ni aibu that aside is obvious say you don't take for the place allow me to assume you are 52 based on your face hapa anasema kwa sababu ya hivyo sasa uh, kadirie tu umri wa calligraph ambao ni miaka mbili. kwa sababu ndio ndio maana anamuita babu uh, hii inatokana na kwamba calligraph katika ile diss track yake alisema kwamba black bones anaonekana na miaka 40 lakini ni kama vile bado ananyonya unaona eh? anaendelea this nigerian hype juice got this nigga obsessed you have been trying to blow here but no one ever cared kwamba huyu jamaa anavyosema sema huko Nigeria basi ame kama vile amenogewa e, umejaribu sana kutaka kutoka huku lakini hakuna mtu ambaye anajali am i i tried but it never could work cause you not built like a star bra you have never been dapper kwa hapa anasema kwamba am i rapper am i pamoja na ice walijaribu kuna ngoma ambayo am i amefanya na kali na kuna ngoma ambayo ice kafanya na uh, calligraph wamejaribu lakini walishindwa na anasema kwamba haukujengwa kuwa 
star na haujawahi kuwa smart haujawahi kuwa nadhifu anasema so you on that sound city stage looking like you came to take the award on behalf of the rapper anasema nilikuona katika ile stage ya sound city ulionekana kama vile mtu ambaye umekuja kuchukua awali kwa ajili ya rapper mwingine look like you are drip resistant your fashion statement need to start linguistics hapa anaponda muonekano wake na uvaji wake you partially ignorant of that part of the business why are you copying them benzes at least come out looking like you are the one that is packing the benzes hapa anasema anaponda jinsi ambavyo anajielezea kwamba ni mtu anemiliki mabenz na nini kwamba walau uje ukionekana kama ni wewe kweli ambaye unazipaki hizo benzi anamponda kali kwamba sio mwenye muonekano wa kuwa na uh, magari kifahari kama benzi na kadhalika katika uh, this ya kali alimwambia kwamba ni Takashi Wanabi hapa amejibu huo msale akisema Takashi Wanabi you know too far from the truth kwamba hauko mbali sana na ukweli but this Takashi would throw you and still murder you in the both kwamba sawa huyu Tekashi bado ataendelea kukuponda na atakuua katika sehemu ya kurekodia. Yo Kenya, this is the nigger that you rated as best. Like if you were a tactic gone come to your help kwamba Kenya huyu jamaa ndo mnamuona ni bora kama vile mmeshambuliwa na kwamba huyu ndio atakuja kuwasaidia na hapa akasema if there is one thing that anybody has learned from Manchester United it that literally nobody is scared of Jones in defense kwa hiyo hapa yanaikejeli Manchester pia lakini pia kimkejeli mchezaji wa, wa Manchester ambaye anaitwa Phil Jones ni mchezaji huyu ambaye anasema kwamba kwa Manchester United hakuna mtu ambaye anamuogopa huyu wakati wa kulinda mlango kwa hiyo ni kama mchezaji mbovu kwa hiyo Jones na huyu Phil Jones ni wamoja katika defense verse ya tatu by the way amejisifia zaidi ameongea jinsi ambavyo yeye ni noma sana kwamba ni war machine risasi na bunduki ni kama toto wake na amejisifia sana katika hii sehemu amemtishia uh, calligraph akisema kwamba have calligraphs blood on the wall like a graffiti kwamba atachukua damu ya calligraph na kuichorea michoro ile ya graffiti ame cannibal but i don't feed on the feeble kwamba mimi ni mla watu lakini sili wazee yani uh, vikongwe mnyama aliyezeeka akaja akasema huko chini akisema kwamba run cycles around kenyans rappers only person i could possibly fear is kenenisa beke kwamba katika kuzunguka kuangalia rappers wa Kenya ameugundua kwamba mtu mmoja pekee ambaye anaweza kumogopa ni Kenenisa Bekele lakini hapa akaja akasema oh shit that's Ethiopian repress that with Kipchoge kwamba oh huyo sio Kenya ni Ethiopia basi mweke badala yake tuseme ni Kipchoge kwamba badala ya huyu basi ni Kipchoge ndio mtu pekee ambaye anamogopa kutoka Kenya si mwingine. Aya, hapa amekuja kusema kujibu uh, tuhuma ama kejeli ya calligraph kwamba ana umri wa miaka 40 akisema how can you say that I'm 40? You delusional clearly kwamba utasemaje kwamba mimi na miaka 40 wewe ni mwenda wazimu bila shaka or oh, is it dementia that's a couple of years early Alzheimer's you forgot what you seen on the tarry unaona kwamba huenda una tatizo la kusahau au sio hiyo imekuja mapema na vile vile akisema kwamba unasahau kila ambacho unakiona kwenye televisheni or oh, you just ignore my age you are the Kenyan or Kelly ama umepuuzia tu umri wangu wewe ni Arokel wa Kenya. Hapa anajisifia pia akimtishia kali anasema this is punishment this boy. You ain't making it back. Saying damn shit with energy and calling it rap. Kwamba hii ni adhabu kwako kijana. Hautarudi tena. Unasema ujinga ujinga kwa nguvu kubwa na unaita rap. Hapa anasema kwamba need to call Bobriski to come up put it in your mouth. Bobriski ni ashoga ambaye ni kama transgender flani hivi wa Nigeria. Ambaye anasema kwamba inabidi amuite afa jamwekee ume wake katika mdomo wa calligraph. Mwishoni anamalizia kwa mistari hapa ya kumtisha anasema facing end responsibilities and perfect refine. You some oldest granny that be facing decline. Calligraph anamuelezea kama ni babu ambaye anaelekea mwishoni na anasema you got two more you got like two more is before you done but it's alright kwamba una kama miaka miwili hivi imesalia ili uishe kabisa lakini hiyo ni sawa tu
mwishoni hapa akamalizia kwa kumtania akisema kwenye outro when the decline is in full effect i could really use a bouncer that knows a bit about rap hit me up on the celly akaweka namba hizo nyingi nyingi ambazo bila shaka ni uongo anasema kwamba pale ambapo utakuwa umeishiwa kabisa naweza nikamtumia bouncer ambaye kidogo anafahamu rap kwa maana ya muonekano wa kale alivyo na akasema kwamba nipigie kwa hiyo namba pakataja hizo namba ambazo hazipo kwa hiyo unaona kwamba kama nilivyosema ni kwamba black bones ni mwandishi mzuri sana lakini hana energy katika delivery yake kwa hiyo nimempa sana big up kwa namna ambavyo anachora mashairi yake lakini nimemnyima point za delivery na namna ambavyo anatakiwa ku address this track. Kwa hiyo kwa mtazamo huo unaweza kusema kwamba Black Bones ni rapper mzuri sana katika kuandika ama katika baadhi ya nyimbo zake ambazo hazihitaji energy kubwa sana lakini kwa upande wa energy delivery aggressiveness nguvu katika kuwasilisha uh, mashairi kiukweli uh, calligraph amechukua na nikipima sasa nani ni mshindi hapa kati ya Kali pamoja na Black Bones uh, Kali amechukua pointi nyingi zaidi kwa hiyo naweza kusema kwamba sofa moja bila kwa maana Kali bado anaendelea kuwa uh, mshindi katika hili japo uh, Black nimempa heshima pia kwa uwezo wake mzuri sana wa kuandika mashairi wewe unamtazamo gani tipia komenti yako na subscribe ili kupata taarifa nyingi zaidi